If 10% of x is equal to 20% of y, then the ratio x is to y is equal to. This question is again very simple. We have 10% of x is equal to 20% of y. So 10% of x can be written as 10 by 100 of x is equal to 20% of y is 20 by 100 of y. So these hundreds get cancelled out. We have 10x is equal to 20y. Again these zeros get cancelled out. We have x is equal to 2y. And x by y is equal to 2. And this ratio is basically x is to y is x by y. And that is 2 by 1. So 2 is to 1 is the ratio. Option B is the correct answer for us now. The compounded ratio of 2 is to 3, 6 is to 11, and 11 is to 2 is. Well, if you have three ratios given A is to B, and C is to D, and E is to F, the compounded ratio is equal to the ratio of the product of first terms to the product of second terms. So this is basically equal to A C E is to B D and F. The first terms is to second terms and their products taken together. Right. So the compounded ratio here if we have 2 is to 3, 6 is to 11 and 11 is to 2 will be equal to the first terms which are 2, 6 and 11. So 2 times 6 times 11 divided by 3 times 11 times 2. 3 times 11 times 2. So this 2 cancels out, this 11 cancels out. So we have 3 times 2 as 6. So this is 2 by 1. So the compounded ratio of all of these ratio is basically equals to 2 is to 1. So the answer is option B. A certain amount was divided between A and B in the ratio 4 is to 3. If B's share was 4800, the total amount was. So we have the ratio of amounts of A and B which is 4 is to 3. So I can write A, the amount with A is equals to 4x and the amount with B is equals to 3x. Let us assume that this x is equals to 1. So when x is equal to 1, total amount with A will be 4 and the total amount with B will be 3. So the total amount combined will be 4 plus 3 that is 7. So when B has 3 rupees, total amount is 7. And when B has 4800 rupees, what is the total amount? This is a proportion now. 3 by 4800 is 7 by x. So this is proportion. We can solve it using proportion. So 3 by 4800 is equal to 7 by x. Right. So x is equal to 7 times 4800 by 3. And that is equal to? 7 times 1600. And 7 times 1600 is equal to? 11,200. So the total amount is 11,200 when B's share was 4,800 rupees. So this is one of the easiest way to solve this problem. Of course you can use other ways also.